Hi, welcome to day one of two-step equations practice. So we're going to talk about equations a little bit, just to refresh our memories. Equations are number sentences that have equal signs, and the two sides of the equal sign are equal. They have the same value. So in an equation, we're usually solving for a variable. Um, sometimes the variable could be different letters like X or Y, and we're solving for a variable. And the way that we do that is we use inverse operations. As long as we do the same thing to both sides of our equal sign over here and over here, then they will stay balanced and they will stay equal. So we've talked about one-step equations before in a previous lesson, but with two-step equations, you might have two different operations going on on one side of the equation. So you're going to have to do two steps. Today, we're gonna to talk about when there's multiplication and addition, and we are going to start with addition. So let's look at an example and see what we're talking about here. So here's our first example. 3x plus 4 equals 10. So the 3x is our multiplication and the plus 4 is our addition. So we're going to start with the addition and we're going to use the inverse operation, the opposite operation, and we're going to do it to both sides. So this will be minus 4 and minus 4. So we're left over here with 3x because 4 minus 4 is 0. That's why we did that. And then 10 minus 4 is 6. So our equation is still balanced and um, we continue to the next operation. This is 3x, so that's 3 times x. The opposite of times is dividing. So we're going to divide. This 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we're left with 1x. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2, so x is equal to 2. Okay, let's look at another one, see how that works. So we've got six times x plus one is equal to 19. All of this over here is equal to 19. So we're gonna do the addition first, which means we're actually going to subtract from both sides. And we're gonna get six x equals 18. Then we have multiplication, that's what's left, the operation, six times x. So we're going to divide both sides by six and we get x equals three. You can plug that back in up here and do three times six, or six times three, I should say, plus one equals 19, which is true, which means that that is the correct x value. And let's just look at one more example. So I bet you can guess, we're going to do the subtraction first. So we get 4x here because 5 minus 5 equals 0. And then 21 minus 5 is 16. You can probably see where this is going. We're going to divide both sides by 4. And then x is equal to 4. Okay, well, that's it. That's how you solve a two-step equation when you have multiplication and addition in it. Talk to you soon. Bye.